Hello Shade, it's Reverend Colleen here. It's good to be with you for another assembly on this the last week of term. This time next week you'll all be on holiday and we'll all be looking forward to Easter which is the middle weekend of your two weeks off. Now Easter is a very special time for us in church and in a normal year we'd be having lots of special extra services but this year of course we can't although on Easter day we will be in church for our first service in the building since Christmas. But Easter, as I've said, is a very special time. And it's a time when maybe we do other things that we wouldn't normally do. And one of those things is we eat certain foods. Now can anybody think of foods that we perhaps only have at Easter? Can you think of any? I've got two here with me today. And the first one is this. Can you see it? Do you know what it is? It smells, I think it smells lovely. This is a hot cross bun. Now in years and years gone past, if you sold hot cross buns, on any day except Good Friday, you would go to prison. It would be illegal. Now, I think they've been in, in the shop since about Christmas, but in the past, we only ate them on Good Friday. Now, Good Friday is the Friday of the Easter weekend. And Good Friday is the day on which we remember when Jesus died. He was arrested on the Thursday evening and on the Friday he was killed when he was nailed to a cross. Now I always thought it was very strange to call that Good Friday because it doesn't sound very good to me. But the word good was actually originally God Friday and over the years it got changed. So now we call it Good Friday. And the reason that we eat these on Good Friday is that they remind us a little bit of what happened that day. Can you see on the front, if I hold it that way, it looks better actually. Can you see on the front there's a cross? And the cross on the bun reminds us of the cross on which Jesus died. And the bun shape, it's, well, it should be round. This one's a little bit square. But it's a reminder that when Jesus died, he was put into a tomb. And the tomb was a bit like a cave hollowed out on the side of a hill. And across the front, they put a big stone. So this looks a bit like the stone that was rolled over the entrance to Jesus' tomb. And that lovely smell that I said about earlier, that's made from spices. There are different spices inside the bun. And they remind us that when Jesus died, his body would have been covered in spices. That was a tradition then. That was the way that bodies were prepared after people died. And the bun itself is made from bread mostly. And um, Jesus once said that he was the bread of life. He was the things we needed to get through the day. Because bread is a very basic food. And Jesus is one of the basic things we need for life. So in a hot cross bun, we have the cross that reminds us of Good Friday, the stone that was rolled across the entrance and the spices that were laid on his body of Jesus, the bread of life. But of course, the story didn't end on Good Friday. Jesus' disciples were very upset and disappointed that he died, and they were scared and afraid. But on the Sunday morning, on what we now know as Easter Day, they went along to the tomb where Jesus was buried. And the first thing they found was that 
big stone that had been rolled across the entrance was gone. And they looked inside the tomb and it was empty. Jesus had risen. Jesus had been what we call resurrected. He wasn't there anymore. He was alive. There's another food that we have at Easter. I think this one is a lot, lot more popular. Can you guess what I'm thinking about? Can you think of another food that we only have at Easter? I've got one here. An Easter egg. Let me unwrap this, not Easter, but I'm allowed to unwrap this to tell you about it. Here we go, oh, it's broken. An Easter egg. Oh. Now it's in the shape of an egg because eggs remind us of new life. When Jesus died and rose from the tomb, that was like new life, wasn't it? And when we open the egg, it's hollow. There's nothing inside. And that reminds us that the tomb was empty. That when Jesus' disciples came to the tomb to look for him on Sunday morning, he wasn't there. He'd gone. He'd risen. And that's what we celebrate on Easter Day. We celebrate Jesus risen from the tomb and the fact that the tomb was empty. So over Easter, when you have your hot cross buns or when you eat your Easter eggs and don't eat too many because eat too many and you might be a bit sick. When you have them, remember what they mean. They're not just lovely things to eat, but they have meanings and they tell us all about the Easter story. I'm going to say a prayer now. If you'd like to join me, please do. Otherwise, please sit quietly and just think about what I've said. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the term just passed. A strange term where we've been at home, some of us have been in school, and now we're all together. We thank you for all that we've done and for everybody who's worked so hard to make it possible. We thank you that now we can celebrate Easter. We can remember how Jesus died. and We can remember the empty tomb. So as we enjoy Easter and we enjoy this special food, remind us of what happened and why we have it. So Lord, bless us this day and during our holiday. Amen. Thank you, Shade. Have a lovely holiday. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.